Hi guys! I know it's been forever since I made a video and sorry if I'm super loud and super excited and doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's because I'm finally home by myself. I don't have to be super duper quiet because my kids are asleep in the other room or I don't have to worry about being distracted or somebody coming up. So if I seem like a little energetic or just louder in general, that's why. But I'm so excited because I have not been to Six Flags in like four years. So this is gonna be the first time I go to Six Flags and, and since that time and the first time that I get to go with my boyfriend, the father of my children. And yes, if you haven't noticed, my hair has gotten super, super duper long. And I was actually thinking about cutting it. I know that's just one of those things with us women, like we get it long and we like it for a little bit and then we want to cut it off. And then once we cut it off, we want it long all over again. But I just don't know what to do with it sometimes, especially because my kids tug on it so much. I feel like I want to cut it, but then now looking at it again, it's just I don't always do my hair, so I guess those are the moments where I just want to cut it because it'll be easier to style whenever it's short. But let's just keep on talking and we'll do more makeup and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to start with putting on... Well, there's this thing that I use. I'm sure if you've seen from my other videos, I use this thing for my under eyes. My under eyes are so puffy. My under eyes are always puffy. Like always, always, always. I've even had puffy eyes since I was really, really little. Like I don't think I remember a time where I didn't have puffy eyes. So I don't know if it's just like, cause Sorry, I'm not making sense right now. I'm just thinking while I'm talking. I don't know, that's, that's normal to some people, but sometimes it's really hard for me to do. But um, I don't really notice my mom with big under eyes or my dad with big under eyes, but I, I notice some of my sisters with big, uh, big under eyes, but I don't know if it's just us that we don't sleep or what. But yeah, I always put this under my eyes, the Dr. Brandt, Dr. Brand that I got in my boxy charm like a year ago and it still has some in here. It was $42. It retails for $42, but it's lasted me forever and I didn't even pay the $42 for this. I just paid for the box, which is $21. So I put that on and while I let that sit, because you're supposed to let it like dry before you put more products over it. So while I let that sit, I usually do my brows. And for those of you who watch some of my videos, I, I'm still using a lot of a lot of the same items, but there are some things that are different. I'm using this Scone Brow Wand Eye Pencil in the shade Chocolate. I got this in the Ipsy bag. And like I say always, this, this um, product, when I first used it, it seemed really chalky. It seemed really chalky, but now that I use it a lot, like it's gotten more creamy. And I like that it has a spoolie on this end. And if I, if you see me looking over here, it's because that's where I have my mirror. So I'm just going to do my brows. I need to get my brows done. That's what I need to do. I need to get them done. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in like a really, really long time. Maybe I should have grabbed like a small mirror instead of looking at this big mirror. I'm going to go ahead and grab one. So just give me a second. I grabbed this. I don't use this. It is a Girlactic Duo that we also got in BoxyCharm. But it comes with a mirror, so that's why I grabbed it because it's nice and small. So that way I can just do this right here for you guys instead of being so far away. But this is my eyebrow. I just kind of like line the bottom and then line the top and then fill it in. My eyebrows are such an odd shape to me. I know before, whenever I was in school and then whenever I first started working at Bells, a lot of people would compliment my brow shape, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, especially because the way my eyebrows grow in, they grow in really patchy. Like I really have to fill in the inside because one section will be like super thick and super full and then the next 
will just be like empty so then it's like I'm coloring on my skin instead of filling in my brows and then sometimes I like my eyebrows to be super duper dark and then other times I just like them to like look natural like for me this isn't too bad I'm gonna do the other eye so I know it is winter time, but a lot of people are still experiencing like really, really hot weather. I live in a small town in Texas and like right now it's, it's like cold and hot, but it's like cold in the morning and then cold at night, but it's like really hot during the day. I'm sorry for saying like so many times. Do you guys say like? I know some people say um. I just go um, um. I say like. It's a bad habit, but it's kind of hard to break. Especially whenever you're like trying not to think about it. You're not really realizing it until you focus on it. And it's hard not to say it. Okay, so my eyebrows are done and dark and wavy. Okay, so the the under eye cream should have dried already. So then I'll put on my put on my primer. As you can tell, I've already used more than half of it. I go to this like this also has lasted me at least a year. I want to say because I got this as a birthday gift. Well, I used the gift card and bought this with that. So this is the. Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer Smoothing, Rose, Hip, and Argan Oil Pore Perfecting. I just put that much on my finger and then I dab it all over my face. Mainly put it like on my cheek area because that's where my pores are kind of huge. And I rub it all over. I think whenever I fill in my brows, it kind of makes my hair on my head look darker too. I don't know if that's just me. This feels so good. Like, it's my skin is real dry right now. I think, I think my skin has gotten super dry from using matte products and from using um, certain face washes because before my skin was super oily. And now it's super dry. So I need to find a routine where like it helps my skin just be normal. Okay, so I pushed all that in. And I think I'm going to do my eyeshadow next. For my eyeshadow, since I'm wearing like this burgundy color, I'm going to be using this Ace Beauty palette that I also got in BoxyCharm. Got a lot of my makeup from BoxyCharm. There's just like some some drugstore and some Ulta items that I've gotten for myself, like handpicked, but majority of my stuff is from BoxyCharm and I'm not mad, like, I think all this stuff is pretty cute and I'm not spending everything in my pocket for it. So these are the shades, I don't know, like this doesn't come with a mirror, so that's cool, but these are the shades and I think they're super cute. So I'm gonna get my brushes. And then I use these a lot. I use the Luxie brushes. This is the gold set. This is a mini tapered one to one brush. I like these because my eyelids are kind of small, so it helps me get in there and not go everywhere, you know what I mean? So I should set my eyes first. That would be smart. I'm getting ahead of myself. Can't even think right now. So I use the pretty vulgar powder to set my eyes after I put on my concealer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sorry for my baby hairs. 
earlier I, I did my hair really quick I wasn't gonna do my hair before this video but then I started to think okay I need to because it had baby hairs everywhere and I was just staring at I was staring at the mirror and just trying to like slick them down with my spit I know it's gross but that's what I was trying to do and it wasn't working I feel like sometimes glue wouldn't even help put my baby hairs down I'm using the Real Technique sponge, the orange one, and then for concealer, I'm using the, what is this, what are you, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser by Maybelline. Just put this all over my lid. If y'all have some tips for me, go ahead and tell me some tips because I am no professional. I just like doing makeup for the fun of it. I've never been in a cosmetolo cosmetology class or anything like that, which I would love to do. I probably should have done that in high school, but I didn't. But like I said, if you have any tips for me, just tell me. Yeah or constructive criticism. I'm not one to like be offended or anything. So I'm gonna use the shade Clove as my transition shade. It's like a pretty orangey peach color. Let me just put this again. I'm gonna get this again. And I'm just going to start off by packing it in my crease. Oh, I had an eye booger. Gross. It's such a pretty color. What are your favorite colors to put on your face? For those of you watching, do y'all even like to do your own makeup or you just like to watch makeup videos? Because I know some people just like to watch makeup videos and not really fans of putting it on. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just like, you know. Before, I used to like watching a lot of funny videos, but I don't really consider myself a funny person. Like, not funny enough to just post about it. A lot of people say I have like a funny personality, but... I'm, I wouldn't be comfortable just like sitting and talking to a camera about jokes or whatever. Like I'm not Jack Black funny. Jack Black is hilarious. I love Nacho Libre. It's like one of my favorite comedy movies. If I could sit down and watch comedy, I would like watch Nacho Libre and White Chicks. Hot Chicks. All the Medea movies, Big Mama's House movies. I think I'm just gonna do one eye on camera so that way I'm not sitting here boring you guys to death. Oh, this is such a pretty color. So I'm one of those types of people where I hear a word or something and then I'll just automatically connect it to a song or a movie. Or I like to sing things whenever I'm talking. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm odd. But I've been doing that forever. So it's kind of like I can't stop. You know what I mean? Look at that color. It's such a cute color. So I'm just going to keep doing this eye so I can do the other one off camera. The next shade I'm going to go into is Poppy. This dark one right here. I just finished using that one. Now I'm going to use this one. 
and get that closer to my crease instead of like blending it everywhere. I remember when I first started doing makeup, I had no idea. Like I had nowhere to start to really figure out how to use eyeshadow at all. I didn't know you had to prime your eyes, so I'm pretty sure the first eyeshadows that I used could have looked a whole lot better. I didn't know there was different brands out there. I think there was one time I took my mom's MAC lip gloss to school, and I didn't even think about it. Like I didn't realize MAC was an expensive product, especially back when I took it. So this is probably like whenever I was 10 and I'm 22 right now. And so I remember taking it to school and putting some on because I just wanted to feel cute or whatever. And then somebody was just like, is that a MAC lip gloss? And I was like, I guess so. And they're like, let me see it. And then I was just like, yeah, I guess. I didn't even know. I didn't even know how to pronounce MAC. M-A-C. I didn't know if that was MAC. You know what I mean? And so I was just like, okay, can I have a bag? And they're like, well, how do you have a MAC lip gloss? And I was like, it's my mom's. And they're like, oh, maybe you should put that back. And I was like, why? And I didn't even understand why until somebody told me that it was like an expensive product or whatever. And then I told my mom about it and she was like, oh, it's a gift, it's okay. Here's the other shade. It's gonna look kind of ugly at first, I guess, because I'm just going everywhere. I can clean it up or like whenever, you see how this is kind of like going outside of my eye, I like to connect that underneath my eye, you know what I mean? But yeah, I like the way it's coming out so far. Anyways, yeah, I didn't know a lot about makeup. I still don't know a lot about makeup, but I'm learning things here and there, and it's really, really fun for me. Oh my gosh, but it sometimes it even makes me upset, too. I remember when I was first learning how to do my lashes, it would, like, make me so, so upset because I could never get them to stay on. I didn't know what the heck I was doing wrong. I kept watching lash video after lash video after lash video, and trying it and trying it and trying it it would never stick it got to the point where like I was just crying I was like I'm never gonna try to do lashes ever again but finally I got them I just can't do them like super quick on camera and tell you guys how to do it yet because I'm not that great at it yet myself still kind of struggling sometimes for the majority of the time I get them to stay on but there are times where like the center or the end will start to lift and I'm like no I have to take it off but um I think I'm gonna put a little bit of brown in the corner and then I'll cut my crease and put a shimmer on the inside. That's what I'm gonna do. What kind of music do you guys like to listen to? I was just listening to like an older station on Pandora. I never know if I'm pronouncing this guy's name right, but Paul Anta or Ananta or something like that. It's A-N-K-A. -A. He's the one that sings, put your head on my shoulder. Hmm. He's the one that sings, put your head on my shoulder. So I put that station on because I wanted to hear that song. And you know how Pandora doesn't always put the song you're thinking of, but it did. And then as I was playing, I was playing so many good songs. Like, I love the movie Dirty Dancing, and it had all those songs play on it. It had some Elvis Presley, Temptation, Supreme, all of that. So now I'm going to cut the crease, put a shimmer on, like I said. There's three, well, four. Four pretty shimmers. One, two, three. Four. And I don't know if I want to do this color, this color, or this color. But I guess, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think I'm going to do Prime Rose, which is this one. So I'm going to do that. 
I'm gonna do that real quick. Got a crown brush and it has like a flat head. So I'm gonna use that to cut my crease. And this e.l.f. concealer. put some on my lid and then I find my crease and then I follow that line. Now sometimes I like to be dramatic with it and make my crease a lot higher than what it naturally is. But for right now, since I'm going out of town, I don't want to be extra, you know what I mean? did that and I'm gonna set it before it starts creasing on me my eyelid has so many creases I wish I could play music I guess I could but with YouTube throwing all their rules on and whatever I'm just kind of nervous to do that. So I'm going to use another flat brush. This is my Alamar brush. Where is the label? Does it, oh, it completely washed off or rubbed off or whatever. But I use that one. Put some on here. I need to wash my brushes. That's what I need to do. But I'm going to use this to put the shimmer shade I was telling you about. It's such a pretty color. I just don't like that most glitter or shimmer shades fall off. And sometimes you have to use your fingers. Like this one's not showing much. You know, it's not showing much, but I'm pretty sure with my finger it would show a lot better. Maybe it's just the shadow, because it's not that bright. Maybe I should try Myrtle. Let me try Myrtle. That one was a little better. I could also wet it. But I think this will be good. Then I'm just gonna go back with the same brush and blend the two together. So now I'm just going to do the other eye, throw on some wing liner, and pop on some lashes, and I'll be right back. So as you can see, putting on liner and wings on makes a big difference. Then with just regular eyeshadow and mascara, I use the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express mascara and then for my liner I use the Hank and Henry liquid eyeliner. It's a felt tip. I really 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 like this eyeliner. Before I would use the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner and it came with like the little brush that you pulled out or whatever. So now I'm going to be doing my foundation and I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Hydrating Foundation Smoothing Natural Finish Foundation in the shade M2, whatever that is. Let's see. Is 
to have a shape. And this is M2 on it, medium light. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna pump that onto my hand. And then I'm gonna dab it all over my face. Obviously, I'm not home alone anymore. My honey is home from work. And he's showering so we can get going. So I better be done by the time he is done so we can get on many, 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 many rides. I love roller coasters. Before, when I was little, I used to be terrified of them. But it's not my fault because I never really went to amusement parks and stuff like that growing up. Like, the youngest I was, I want to say, I want to say 12, and I went out of town with my sister. My oldest sister was a high stepper, choreographer, teacher lady, and they were going to San Antonio, and she told my mom that she could take me. And she regretted it, which I don't mind because I was terrible. I thought I would be able to get on the rides, but no, I was so chicken. I would get all the way up to the beginning of the line and I would just chicken out and my sister would have to go and follow me because obviously she couldn't leave me alone. And so here I am making her wait in line for the longest and then finally, when we get there, I'm like, no, I can't get on. So that was the worst. And then I went again. I don't, I don't remember who I went. No, I think it was a mariachi trip. It was a mariachi trip for school. And we were going to perform for a competition in San Antonio. And so we, I got on more rides then. And I like was trying to face my fears because I was like, who do you want to be? Do you want to be the person who has a good time and get on rides? Or do you want to be the chicken that gets in no rides and just sitting there in the hot sun and being miserable? So I was like, no, I'm going to do it. I shouldn't just be sitting here doing nothing. So finally, around the third time, go to Six Flags with my former best friend. And um, he wanted to take me for my birthday and that was four years ago, four, almost five years ago. And I got on many, 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 many rides and since then I've just been wanting to go. Oh, also after that, I, no, before that, on my 15th birthday, my sister, I went to go visit her in California and we went to the Six Flags, the Magic Mountain Six Flags. So that was fun. Those rides are like 10 times scarier than the ones that are here. So I was like, if I can get on those, I can get on the ones here, no problem. And it was really, really fun. Ooh, I'm getting concealer all over this mirror. Let me just wipe this off. I always get confused on which way to click. Okay, so I'm gonna put concealer on. I don't put too much of this one on because I think it's really, really light. So I just put a little bit and I blend it out as much as I can. <laughs> Sorry for, for me making a face. I know I look crazy, but I think everybody makes a face when they do makeup. If not, I don't know. I know it can't just be me. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so. Beating my face beating it like an egg. Okay, I think my eyeshadow looks so cute though. I think it came out good. But I'm telling you, it's the lashes and the eyeliner. They just make, they just make everything look so much better. <laughs> What's you guys' favorite music? I like all kind of music. I like hip hop, I like country, I like oldies, I like older rock, I like older hip hop. 
I like some of the new stuff. I just like stuff that has like good beats, you know what I mean? Nice beats. They have a message that's even better. They're doing it to spread awareness, that's awesome. I love all kinds of music, so I'm like singing all the time. So I put my powder over that and I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour and Caramel Toffee. This stuff does get real powdery whenever you tap into it, so I like to blow the extra stuff off. But for me, it's like, it's honestly the only contour I've ever used. So I don't even know if this is good or not, because I have nothing to compare it to. But that's all I use, since I don't like to waste stuff. I would have given it away or something. I didn't think I was going to use it. But I've been using it, and I like it. It's not too dark. To me, it blends pretty well. But who knows, maybe there's something out there better. I just need to try it. Make my five head look more like a four head. Oh my gosh, my forehead is so big, but I don't mind it runs in the family and I can't say I have an ugly family because I think we're all pretty cute so after I'm done contouring I like to set my whole face and put on a lipstick and I'm done. So I will do that and I'll show you the end result. So like I said, I just added some lipstick. This is the Huda, Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Medusa, my very first high-end makeup product that I purchased myself. And I used the Oprah Highlight for my cheekbones. I just mixed the lightest two shades and that was it that was everything now i'm ready he's ready we're about to go to six flags i'm super excited thank you guys for watching i love you so much i hope to see you again soon bye